But where did you get those? From Miss Cratchit's book bag. Excuse me! Paper. No, we don't have any paper. The school cut the budget back, so we're just gonna have to make do with whatever we have. I can't concentrate with all this talking. Do you have any crayons? No, we have nothing. Okay, so let me tell you what we're gonna be doing today. We have all of these nice quality pre-made slimes, but they're just plain slimes. There's nothing special. There's no glitter, there's no beads. It's just plain boring slime. So, I'm going to be numbering these slimes and you're going to pick a number and whichever slime you get, you have to use that slime to make it look better. You're also going to be picking some things out of a bag, things that you can use to make it look better. So, we're going to do that too. So, I'm going to be doing it with you guys because I want to try to win this competition too. Why are you going to be doing it too? Because not yet. Since the budget cuts, I don't have anything to do either. All my supplies are gone. I gotta do something with my life. It'll make me happy. <sighs> okay, you guys, so I'll take out my handy paper towel and write some numbers on it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, one through seven. Number one, or uno. All right, number two. Number three. Hey, I got the goods. What are you talking about? Number four. Number five. You got us a number five here. But where did you get those? I really like the number five in McDonald's. I think that's the filet fish or maybe the chicken nuggets. From Miss Cratchit's book bag. Maybe this is from the time we went to the store and mommy had a fight when you scratched it when she got all the candy, but we didn't get it, but now we get it. Six, and number seven. Now I need to put the numbers on the bottle to correspond to the numbers on the paper towel. Okay, I'm gonna put number two. Number three is going to be this neon, it's a nice neon pink color. Number four will be this neon orange. And let's see, this this pink shiny one's gonna be number five. The silver one, this one's gonna be number six. And then the emoji pool is gonna be number seven. Emoji pool slime. Hey, <laughs> those kids just don't even know what's coming. What is that noise? Do I sell candy? No candy here. Well, there better not be candy. You better not be sneaking candy because candy is not allowed in this classroom. Only I can have candy. I have all the candy and you guys can't have any, so. The only candy in this classroom that's allowed is for my secret stash. Okay, you guys, it is time to pick a number so you can choose whatever slime you're gonna get. You ready? You better be ready. Okay, the budget cuts are really serious, so I don't have like a special little box or bag or anything like that, so we're just gonna use this um, Chick-fil-A French fry bucket. So I'm gonna put all the numbers in here and shake them around. And you guys are gonna close your eyes and choose a number. Ready? Okay, students. You are stick your hand and the french fry box and pick a number. One number. One number. One piece of paper towel. Is that one piece? Yes. It's two. All right, so number two is this pretty green color. And I got to tell you, I actually wanted this color because this is a perfect cactus color if I've ever seen one. So you're lucky, Naya. I love cactuses. If you love cactuses, it warms my heart and it means that I am doing a good job for this country, for this society, 
and I have never been more proud. Um, I don't know if you should go that far, but anyways, good job. One piece. One. And we got this unicorn poo slime. Okay, I'm gonna pick my number now. I'm gonna close my eyes. You can pick one piece of paper towel. And Ronnie? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. It's number seven. So I get the emoji poo slime. Which really, I kind of don't mind. Because I think this color is pretty nice. Because it looks like the dirt that the cactuses come like in. So now, class. I have a whole bunch of ingredients here, and I gotta put numbers on those too, so. You guys are just gonna have to sit tight and wait and be patient like some good students while I do this, okay? Can you do that? Oh yeah, we'll be very patient and quiet, Miss Cratchit. Perfect angels. Good, I'm gonna get the supplies ready. Okay, got all these ingredients. I went a little overboard at the target, so. Got this really pretty glitter. I got this um, in the craft aisle. There's this purple, there's this blue, there's this pink and yellow. Just really amazing colors. Yeah. I got I got a really good deal on these pom pom puff balls. I got some more candy. Want some? Totally. She's gonna hear you. Oh man, look at this. This is just the cutest thing. See, let me tell ya. These little puff balls, okay. They're different multicolor, like marbly swirls. Marbly swirls, look at that, but if you were gonna use these for something other than slime, you can make a little penguin or a parrot. And that's just so cute. Oh no, we better be quiet then. Let me get it. Oh, now we got some chunky glitter. I got these three for three dollars. Can you believe it? I have big sour patch kid and that extra, extra big. You can never go wrong with some good old slime balls. These are probably my favorite. The texture's really good. Tiny little wine balls. Now, Ellie, you're the one being loud. <laughs> Whatever, Kill. Ten. Packages of sequins. These are tiny unicorns. DIY inspiration and craft projects. Well, this is a craft project, so these blue galaxy beads are gonna work great. Oh, and then last but not least, we have some metal magic. It can make the sign either fluffy, it might can make it too hard or too firm. Just don't know, but we got a light blue and we got a black. Let's see how many things I got here, because I only numbered the slimes one through seven, so I gotta add some more numbers. Do I hear noise, students? Are you not being perfect little angels over there? Nothing, nothing. We don't hear anything. Maybe there's something outside. I'm on to you kids. So pay attention. We're ready for the next step. All right, Ellie. You're gonna pick two numbers, okay? Two. Okay. Two ingredients for your slime. So. One. Two. Oh, I have nine and two. Number nine, number two. Let's see here. Oh, Ellie, you got number nine, the sequin pack. You know what that means. You can use either one, you can use two, or you can use all of them and you choose. Okay, Ellie, I don't know how you do it because somehow every time slime works in your favor, but you got these little unicorns here. Okay, Ellie, I'm gonna give you a handful, all right? Thank you. Okay, two numbers. Close your eyes. I have 10 and eight. All right, so number 10 and number eight, let's see. Oh, Naya, you got a winner. 
You got the slime balls. Oh, you did get a pretty one, Naya, because you got this pretty iridescent confetti. Okay. I'm gonna pick my two numbers now. I'm so excited. I wonder what I'm gonna get. Okay. I got number four and I got number 14. Oh, number four is this pretty glitter. Yeah. Oh, this is number 14. So I got these two. I got some really sparkly items today. Well, now that we got our slimes and we got our ingredients, it's time to mix them all together and try to make them look pretty. Try to make them look like a, a really high quality upscale slime that's got texture and color to it. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh man, I'm so jealous of that cactus color. <sighs> Can't win them all. This one's not the best one to be putting things. Well, I guess you're gonna, then I guess you're gonna lose then because it's up to you to make it a good slime with what you got. Naya, are you done yet? Yes, Miss Ratchet. All right, I need you to sit there and be good while Ellie makes her slime. Okay, let's. Take out my beautiful galaxy yogurt sign. Wolf the unicorn. Ooh, this is actually big. Oh. Now let's add some beads. I'm gonna use these like pink ones and these stock ones and these nice purple ones. Let's add some nice pink shininess. Ooh, this is starting to look very shiny. Add a little bit of some purple. Ah. Purple. Now let's add the light pink. I think that's good. Okay, well it looks like you're far enough along, Ellen, so I'm gonna make my slime now. Those girls are so slow. So I'm just gonna make mine now. It's a nice color. Real nice color. Come on. Come on, buddy. All right, and then now for this beautiful glitter right here, just gonna put some sprinkle-ins. Just some sprinkle-ins on this line. Just a few little sprinkles. All right, I think that's gonna be good, so. Ah, let's mix this up and see what we get. Definitely is looking better. Definitely think I should win this game. All right, students. It's time to go over our slimes real quick, okay? I'm gonna start with mine. My slime has big old chunks of confetti in it, and it's got some dance of glitter. Now we happen to all pick this slime that's like slippery, so things don't stick in it very well. All right, let's see Naya's. Miss Patchett, here's my slime. It's soft. It has nice, it has confetti and beads in it. Okay, this is my nice and glitterful galaxy unicorn slime. It's kind of, I don't, I'm not gonna take it out because it's hot because all the beads are gonna spill out. So this is my unicorn slime. We have the nice glitter beads. And my slime is super, super galaxy. Okay, so I think we all made some pretty good slimes, all things considered. If I had to pick a winner for this round, I think I'm gonna have to pick Naya's cactus slime only because she was able to clean it up and make it look all neat and Ellie still got a lot of sweet wins and unicorns kind of laying around. This is a speed round. You're gonna pick a slime, you're gonna pick your ingredients, we're all gonna make them at the same time and we're gonna get through this fast. You know why? 
because I have things to do with my life, okay? I gotta get back to my cactuses, so let's do this. Naya, pick a number, close your eyes. Only pick a number, close your eyes. Miss Cratchit, pick a number and close your eyes. All right, everyone. I got number three. I got number five. I got number four. So this one wasn't picked and putting him over here. I got this nice pinky neon pink color. Yes. Ellie, you get this orange neon orange. Oh. <laughs> Naya, you get the silky, slippery, purple, pink color. All right? <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm gonna pick two ingredients. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, Ellie. Come on. Two numbers. I have seven and three. All right, number seven and number three. Okay, number seven, you got the Pam Pam ball. So I'm gonna rip those for you. Can't, oh, and then you got your color magic, um, whatever, magic Madeline clay. I'm gonna open this for you, and there you go. Well, all right, Naya, you got your two numbers, Naya. You got two? Eleven and twelve. Eleven and twelve. Oh, Naya, we're gonna get the black magic Madeline clay, okay? Number. Okay, well, Naya, it, this this pretty glitter makes up for it, you know. So here you go. And now I'm gonna pick my two numbers. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Got my two numbers. You got number. I got number six and number thirteen. Number six, I got these big old galaxy beads. Number 13, ice the Pam Pams. And we're gonna see who's gonna win this round. You guys ready, set, go. I got my Pam Pam balls ready. I'm gonna mix the Pam Pams in. Oh, looks good. Look at those Pam Pams. Those nice Pam Pam balls. Ha. It's prepping out a little bit, but you know, that's to be expected. Let me put in some of my nice beads here real quick. I don't wanna put in too many, so. Here we go. Yeah, my slime's really coming along. I think I'm almost done. How are you guys coming along? All right, you guys, time's up. We're ready to reveal our slimes. I'm gonna go first. My pink slime actually is really awesome. I got the Pam Cams, I got the Galaxy Beads. You can see it really, really well. I love it. So, this is a great slime. I'm probably gonna run this round. This is my slime. It's like a peach slime with like little, um, like, like little, like, um, I can't really think, um, like little, like, clout. Little like pieces of rainbow clouds in the sky, so it's super super stretchy, and I like the blue because it makes it really nice. All right, Elliot, it's a pretty slime, so I'll give you that. All right, we Thank gotta you. get to Naya now. Oh, it looks like Naya had a little accident over here because <laughs> I don't think part of the assignment was to just glitter bomb the whole counter. All right, Naya, let's see. It's a little too much glitter, I have to say. That's a lot of glitter. A lot. It's a glitter bomb. All right, you guys, well, last round, Ellie had a big old mess laying around. 
And this round nine has a big old mess laying around. So I have to say that Ellie's gonna have to win this round this time. The person who wins the entire game is of course me. Cause my slimes are just better cause I'm a slime teacher. I'm gonna clean up all this mess that we made. So you guys just sit tight while I know that. It's just a mess to clean up over here. Excuse me? Is that candy? Is that my candy? What are you girls doing with that? We thought the candy was for us. Yeah, it's here. Miss Cricket used to give us candy. Alright, you guys. So. I guess if you're just gonna take me candy and without asking, you could have just asked. That's all you needed to do. I mean, I wouldn't have given it to you, but still, you could have asked. So, I don't know. I got a really good idea for this candy. These sour patches are gonna look really good in my slime. Okay, well, I think we had enough fun for today. Next time, ask about my candy. Class dismissed. Uh -huh.